Obviously, the big concern now is we have this huge terror attack. It's like warring factions and growing instability, growing danger. Tony, who is behind this and what is the message? We know they're big on anniversaries. So, Qasem Soleimani today, you almost could have taken this out of a playbook and said something big will happen. Yeah, this is like a, a international whodunit. And uh, a lot of people have motivation. Uh, obviously, the uh, Israelis just hit a, a pro, uh, a, you know, one of the Hamas targets in uh, Hamas controlled in in, in uh, Hezbollah controlled area of of, uh, of Lebanon, which is all backed by Iran. You have ISIS, uh, the I, the Islamic State, which has the sophistication to do this. They're not the only uh, uh, Sunni group. Uh, remember, Bianca, there's a fundamental battle that goes back to the 10th century between the the, the Shia and the Sunni. The Sunni are the Arabs. The Shia are the uh, the Persians. So. Uh, ISIS has been one of those groups who has actively targeted the Iranian government. And of course, there's the Green Movement, which we failed to support back in 2009. The Green Movement was the pro-democracy movement, which is also still active. So I can't tell you the answer because at this point, we just don't know, but there's a lot of potential suspects. Yeah, and what we failed to do too, obviously under the Obama administration was take steps, Fred, that would have prevented some of the things we're seeing today, the enriched uranium, Iran um, not feeling at all um, concerned about Washington, D.C. and Tehran clearly not pulling back on having Hezbollah or Hamas or even the Houthis scale back their attacks. In fact, it seems like they're they're growing. Um, I want to get your take on this. Former Senator Joe Lieberman spoke to Rob Schmidt last night calling Iran the greatest threat that America faces. In my opinion, Iran is the greatest threat that America faces uh, in a world that's full of threats uh, to America. The IAEA International Atomic Energy Agency uh, report and warning about Iran is very significant because they haven't always been that aggressive or proactive toward Iran. So if they see enough to issue this warning, uh, it's serious. But now we're in the post-October 7th world, if you will, Fred. So when you look at the moves that Iran's making here and... Um, some are saying, you know, Nasrallah, he's talking right now as we speak about Israel, about the U.S. There's clearly some intention that they wanted to pull the Jewish community into all of this to widen the escalation and also to further their their chance, you know, death to Israel, death to America, their main goal to wipe Israel off the map. I think that's right. I, I love Senator Lieberman and respect him, but I think China is the biggest threat to the United States. Not that Iran is not a very significant threat. But what we've been seeing since October 7th is the total lack of deterrence against Iran and its terrorist proxies. And this was absolutely clear after the Biden administration spoke for two weeks about this naval coalition it was putting in the Red Sea to stop the Houthis from attacking shipping. Over the weekend, the Houthis sent, in, sent out small boats to try to hijack a ship, and it was the second attack on the ship by the Houthis. And this explosion in attacks against American troops in Iraq and Syria, over 100 since October 7th. There's no fear. There's no respect for the United States under Joe Biden. The Iranians are interested in destabilizing this region. They don't think they have to pay a price. And I believe as we roll into 2024, well, we're already in 2024, America's enemies, they're going to launch more and more attacks like this to cash in on Joe Biden's weakness, because they believe Biden will be defeated and will be replaced by a much stronger president January 2025, probably Donald Trump. Here we are, uh, 2024, and there are clear signs of uh, red lights are flashing everywhere. Appreciate the analysis oh, yeah. today. Uh, Fred Flights, Tony Schaefer, Lieutenant Colonel, thank you, gentlemen, and we'll see you back here real soon. Obviously, a much, uh, much developing story ahead. Thanks, Bianca. Good to be here. Thanks, guys.